Women and children. This way. Women and children. Head for that ship on the horizon. Transfer your passengers and tell their captain to come at once. They require urgent. Surely they can see our rockets, sir. If they can, they are not responding. As quickly as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Quickly now. Women and children. Quickly. The boats are leaving. Daddy, where are we going? Shh, love. We're going on a little adventure. We'll be back soon. Over here. Let's try this one. I'm afraid it's women and children only, sir. Please, sir, can't you see my wife needs help with the children? Sorry, sir. Captain's orders. What's the meaning of this? This is a drill. Only a precaution, sir. Everyone will be back aboard in good time. John, I can't manage without you. I need you. We'll just have to for now. But... Don't worry, Marie. I'll get on another boat. You go ahead with the children. Daddy, I don't want to go without you. John, I don't see any men boarding lifeboats. I'm sure there's other boats further down letting men board. Right, David. Help your mother and sister board. Yes, Dad. I'm sorry, sir. Women and children only. For God's sake, he's just a boy. What age is he? He's only 16. He'll have to stay on board with the other men. God's sake. Do something, John. Is there nothing you can do? My wife can't manage alone. I'm afraid not, sir. The captain's orders. Hey, the officers are letting the boys leave on the other side. You must hurry. Thanks, friend. Marie, take the baby. Look after Emily. We'll get on another boat. Emily, Daddy loves you very much. Be good for your mother and sister. We'll see you again soon. Daddy, don't go. You have to come with us. We won't be able to find you. Shush now, love. You're going on the boat with your mom and your sister. We'll be along shortly, I promise. Daddy, I don't want to go. Go straight to the next boat. Do what you must to get aboard. Do you understand? I will, ma'am, I will. Don't worry. Mind him, John. Right, Emily. Time to go. Be brave. No! Here. No, Daddy, Emily, please. go. You have I to go, want to go your with your mother. You. Go. Please let me go with no. you. No. Dad! You'll be all right. Please. Be good, child. We'll see you soon. We'll head straight for another boat. Women and children, final call. Right. It's time to go. No! No! I miss my daddy. No! Ready to ropes. Bye. Bye, Emily. Bye, Marie. Right away. Daddy! There, there, sweetheart. They'll be fine. Thank you. My daughter was the same growing up. Father's favorite. Do you believe there's any real danger? Oh, no, dear. I saw men locking the watertight doors as I left my cabin. I'm sure we will be back on board soon. Hey, how do we get to the lifeboats? We can't get up on the deck. Oh dear. Do the steerage have their own boats? I don't know. There should be boats in the third class decks, but I haven't seen any. Surely there must be extra boats kept elsewhere. Otherwise, how can all the passengers leave the ship? How's your ankle, Helen? You took quite a tumble boarding the boat. Swollen. I think it may be broken. Oh dear. When we get back on board, Dr. Lockin can look over it. At least this could make an interesting story for your next novel. Yes, well, perhaps this type of adventure novel would best suit Colonel Gracie. Oh, I do hope Father is safe. Surely he'd be safer on board the Titanic than here in this boat. Yes, well, this is not quite the ending to our adventure that I was expecting. Do you remember Father's face when we arrived? <gasps> Steady forward! And lower away astern! Steady forward! <coughs> Lord, together, men! Hold off! I can't manage this boat with only one seaman! Are there any sailors aboard? Present yourselves. This boat needs another hand. I am a yachtsman, sir. I can row. If you're seaman enough to get onto that boat, you can go. Swing over that loose rope. Ready? Oh my goodness. There. By the Orlock. <laughs> Thank you. Ready! Far away! Lower together! It's so dreadfully cold tonight. Almost there, mother. 
How long must we sit in this boat? Till morning. Be glad you're in here and not up there. I wasn't a pleasant man. Mass was lovely this morning. How nice the captain attended. Yes, this is his last journey commanding a ship. Such a beautiful ship to retire with. There was a planned lifeboat drill this morning. We postponed it so the captain could attend Mass instead. Oh, perhaps that explains why the sailors on the deck seemed almost unprepared when lowering this lifeboat. And why our lifeboat has only three sailors. Yes, this whole affair has been managed rather badly. I shall be making a complaint when we come aboard Titanic. Help! I I'm trapped! Oh my God. Help! Help! Mommy, I'm scared. Shh, it'll be fine. Get ready to release the ropes. Aye, aye, sir. There's water coming in. Get that plug in. The boat will founder. I have it. You there, stand on that plug. Make sure it doesn't come out. Well, I never. Man the oars. We need to leave this ship. Her suction will pull us under. Pull! Hurry, damn you! Where are we heading? Towards the lights on the horizon, just off the port bow. Pull! Put your backs into it! We can help row. No, the men will row. You can steer the rudder as soon as you can row? No, you will not. Sit down! Look, child. Look what I have here. He's friendly. He won't bite. Would you like to hold him? He's so soft. Can you look after him for me? While we're on this boat? Yes, Mum. I should have stayed on deck with Quig. No, it was good of you to join us in the boat. Quig wouldn't have allowed you to stay on deck. I'm sure we will be back on deck shortly. Never mind that sailor. And what if there is real danger? There can't be. The captain said so himself. This is just a precaution. This fog on the horizon and no moonlight. Yes, it's hard to see anything tonight. I doubt the other ship will even see us approach. Ma'am, can you hold this please? Ah, much better. Thank you. Let's hope they see us. It looks like some boats don't have the lanterns lit. And all the stars. The sky is beautiful. Look at them all around. Are there any supplies in this boat? There's nothing. No water, no bread, no compass. Any blankets? I don't see any. There are a few here. Yes, some here too. <gasps> a stowaway! Oh, officer, officer, look! <laughs> sorry, so sorry. I, I can't swim. I... Coward! Get over there and start rowing. I can't. I broke my arm. That's why I can't swim. Please, please, sir. Please stay. I, I'm begging you. I don't stand a chance up there. Sit down, then. You're lucky I haven't thrown you overboard. Here you are. Thank you. Here you are, madame. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. It must be a lot of prison. <laughs> Thanks. Best we keep that baby warm. Thank you. Are you warm enough, Emily? Yes, Mum. Such a precious child. We are always so beautiful. Do you have children yourself? Yes, my daughter is at our home in New York. I wonder if the others made it to the boats. I hope they did. The boats must be all underwater by now. Do you have family on board? No. Our colleagues in the a la carte restaurant. We were allowed to go up to the boats, but the men are being held in the second class dining hall. Oh, that's dreadful. Why aren't they allowed up to the boat? They have to wait until all the passengers have left the ship. I did see Mr. Morgé on deck, and the head chef, so they might have been let up early. Oh, I hope so. The ship is listing quite badly now. Lights don't seem to be getting closer. Perhaps they're just reflections on the water. No, they're definitely lights from another ship. We were signalling them earlier. They look like stars to me. Keep rowing towards the lights. Captain's orders. You should assist us rowing. Allow one of the women to steer the boat. It's a perfectly calm night. You row, sir. I will remain in command of this boat. The women should be allowed to row. No! Rowing will keep us warm and we'll reach that ship in half the time. I agree. The movement will warm us. I am in charge of this boat. The women are not to row. Oh, my. 
Look at the angle of our ship. But it's unsinkable. Surely? She'll sink. But the watertight door should keep her afloat. We only glance the iceberg. Surely she isn't that damaged? She'll founder. It's just a matter of time. What about those not in lifeboats? Thank you.